now it's time to bring you a positive story of a class 10 student from the national capital who makes face shields and masks using the 3D printer at home and has already donated over 100 face shields to the Delhi police as of yesterday. Why did he choose to do so? To find out more on this, I'm joined by Zareb Vardhan himself right now. Hi Zareb, how are you doing? Thank Hi. you for speaking to us. I'm good. Yeah, I'm... Um, um... I'm doing good. All right. So, Zarab, why don't you go ahead and tell us quickly what made you do this? Why did you choose to make these face shields and face masks using a 3D printer and donated these to the Delhi cops yesterday? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, so, while roaming around the city, and uh, I saw a lot of police men interacting with a lot of people without anything stopping them, like the virus, the coronavirus spreads very easily and um, they had nothing in front of them that was completely protecting them. And um, so I got the idea of designing and producing 3D printed face shields. So because it's an easier way to produce them and it's a way faster way to produce them. And um, I made around 200 face shields and I donated them to the uh, police and now they're being used. Zareb, so Zareb, what uh, what was your motivation? You see, in the last three or four months, uh, we've come across many students doing their bit to help those in need in this pandemic. We, we've uh, we've done many stories about how class five students, how college students are helping out the needy. What was your motivation, and why did you choose to make these face shields and face masks using a three D printer? What was the science behind that? So um, the face shields that you get in the market are uh, they're, they're really expensive and they take a lot of time to produce. And uh, the main objective is that I design a model which can which can be printed with, by anyone who has a three D printer at home. And um, it doesn't you don't need any other uh, materials. The, you just need the basic materials that are used to run right. the three D printer. So why so don't you show us some of what you've been doing lately? Some of those face shields and face masks. If you can, if you can just break it down to the viewer. I know it's not easy to show the three D printing process, but if you can show us what you have with you right now. Yeah, sure. So this is the three D printed face shield, and. Um, it comes with a padding and it comes with an adjustable elastic strap right. and uh, this is the final product but before this, um, this is what is made. So this is the 3D printed uh, object, this is the 3D printed model and this is the strap that goes on. So right. these are the face shields that are produced and these are the N95 masks that are produced. So um, these come with seven layers of uh, uh, filtration and um, they're very effective and um, and you've been so, and you've been making all of this at home all by yourself or do you have your friends who join you while doing this or your little group of friends doing this together no i've done this all by myself i've designed all of this myself and uh, i've printed it all myself that's 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 fantastic zarib uh, just before we uh, let you go uh, one word of advice or something you'd like to tell your friends and students who are watching us right now what would you like to tell them I would like to tell them to keep on like, you just keep on uh, creating new stuff and like look into other stuff and look at the ways to help people who are in need and who don't have the resources to buy um, things that are very important and that could take like that could right. save their life. Well, thank you, Zarab. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank Stay you. safe while you're making sure other people around you stay safe. That's a fantastic initiative you are uh, doing. And thank you for speaking to us.